In last video I showed you these giant grasshoppers that I received and I told you that I plan to do a special feeding video with them. Uh, originally I had six inside of this box but yesterday one died and now today another one died. The guy that gave them to me told me that they are on their last leg and that they won't last long but I didn't expect that they, they will be uh, dying so quickly so now I need to do a feeding video as soon as I can because only four are left and the biggest question now is can I make um, a long enough and entertaining enough video with only four feeders? Hmm. But before we start with that I will open this box you can hear that there is something drinkable inside and I'm really thirsty so this will be a fuel for for this video. A note, this is from Stefan from Scotland. Let's see what he sent to me. A monster, full monster and I don't have this one. And what is the next one? The other one. Another monster. Oh, it's the same one, is it? Yeah, it is the same one. This is even more perfect because I can take it to my next case session and flex to my friends with a monster taste that they never tried. Now let me show you my monster can collection. These are all the monster cans that I got. You see? And this one. And also I got two that aren't here, the ones that are for the monster coffee, but it is a smaller can so I don't have them displayed. So thank you, uh, Stefan for sending me this monster can that I don't have and especially uh, thank you for sending me a full one so I can actually taste it. Can I open the can? What? There we go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I was hoping for a, a taste similar to Mango Loco because this is my favorite monster taste. This one is quite similar. Uh, anyhow, to quickly answer your questions, updates on communal setups, they are all doing fine except the one with uh, vampire crabs. Unfortunately, it seems that only one is alive. All other communal setups are doing nice, uh, doing yeah, okay. And the other question in regards to Linotella and Megateloides, it appeared that the one that I put in, the, in that bigger enclosure, it was too small and it didn't web up at all. So I am letting it to grow more and then we will do it again once it is a bit bigger. Okay, we are done with that. Let me see one more drink. Mm, so good, nice. Now for these guys. This dead one actually died recently. When I found it, it was still alive, but it was barely alive. So I knew that I need to do this video quick. I will try to preserve that one because it is fresh, but I don't, I don't really know if I can cut it and take the stuff out of it or if I can just dry it out. Something made a sound. I think it's the cell phone that I use for drone. Anyhow, here are the guys, but as you can see, they are a bit less active than they were in last video. So yeah, they are definitely going out soon. Now the tarantulas that I plan to feed in this video. First one is an obvious choice, of course. It will be Linda, my Terraphosa Styrmi but this time we are going to take her enclosure and bring it on the table because you know in last feeding video the feeding clip that we got from her was pretty lame and having the enclosure here will give me more uh, more control over it this time i plan to use two cameras one for slow motion and the other for normal motion second tarantula will be also obvious choice it will be probably the biggest tarantula in the dark den and that is the pezzoteria ornata or her name is Elvira, the mistress of darkness. But also I will bring her enclosure on the table and I will try to coax her out of the enclosure and then we are going to try to feed her outside of the enclosure. That way we will get the best feeding clip from her but I'm not really sure if that will work out because you know pokies when you disturb them uh, they kind of don't want to don't want to eat because they are kind of spooked but i will coax her outside then i will leave her for a moment we are going to do a time jump and then maybe she will be down for business third tarantula will for sure be the best performing tarantula like ever and that is the acanthoscuria geniculata although her abdomen is kind of huge but I think that it won't be a problem with her then. I'm really not sure which one will be fourth 
tarantula. I was thinking Historocrates gigas female, but she's freshly molted, so I'm not really sure if she is ready for to be fed, if she's ready to be fed, because I'm not sure if her fangs are hardened, because you know, when they molt, they change their entire exoskeleton and also the fangs, so they are also soft and squishy. Then I was thinking if I cannot feed her, then maybe I should feed some really, really pretty mature male and that is Pamphobetius Mahala you see this cool guy I will try also get him outside so we can get the feeding clip out on the open but I'm also not sure if that will go the way I plan the way I intend yeah let me just bring Linda out and let's start with this in case you don't remember her enclosure is extremely heavy there is a lot of substrate you see how much substrate there is inside a lot <laughs> in the same time this will be an update on her enclosure and how everything is developing the first thing that you probably already noticed is this big water dish the reason for that is uh, I had a bit of fungi issue in the enclosure I'm not really sure if that was an issue, but there were a bunch of mushrooms growing inside and I'm not sure if they are harmful for tarantula or not, but just in case I wanted the enclosure to dry out just to prevent more mushrooms from spawning and that's why I have the water dish because, you know, Terraforza stirmis, they need uh, a lot of humidity. There you can see legs lurking, one, two, and the blackness inside. <laughs> now I need to plant this good because we have, as I said, only four feeders and I need to make a full video with only four feeding clips and the only way to actually do that is to have a uh, really good quality, right? and to have really, really detailed clips actually, first I'm going to lure her out because I want to have her out on the open of course I have this piece of grass for tarantula fishing now you will see how that works Oh, come on. As always, I knew that she's coming, but the suspense of waiting always makes me twitch. Yes, this is Linda. Beautiful, big Linda. <laughs> oh, she is hungry for sure. This will be fun, fun, fun. Now the question is, where exactly do I want to put the grasshopper? I was thinking about holding it up high and see if she will jump like she did in one video. I think that I will go with that. So let me grab a grasshopper. Um, Linda, stop there. What are you doing and where you think you're going? <laughs> where are my tweezers? Here they are, lock and loaded. And we go. I think that was a good one and she just bolted inside of her den Whoo, inside of her dark den this is like the real dark den right oh let me just check the footage yes that was great now I will wait a bit and hopefully in the meantime she will actually come outside so we can see her devouring the, the grasshopper. <laughs> Currently he's still moving down there, just a little bit. Yeah, you see? Moving his legs. But look at her abdomen. Why do Stirmis and Blondies always need to look like that? They always have partially bald abdomens. Seems like a happy dance is about to start. She's wiggling her uh, spinnerets, you see? <laughs> come out, come out, please! Ooh, she turned! Oh ho ho! She's slowly emerging. Hopefully she will come more out, but we can already see the prey and everything. And you see, happy dancing actually inside. The booty is working. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a bit more.
Oh look, it seems that she dropped the grasshopper and she's now webbing it. They always do that with their prey, you see? And now she picked it up. But basically you never see this in my videos because I just record the takedowns and then we are off to another tarantula. But now you get to see it because I'm trying to get more content. And it is actually cool stuff, right? Look at this. The dead grasshopper is actually moving a bit. The legs are kind of moving. You see? <laughs> this is so creepy. Look at it. Oh, and did he actually pooped? What? This wasn't there. The dead grasshopper pooped on my table. This is a first for sure. Now you see that I wasn't lying when I said that he died recently. <laughs> because he's still shaking and pooping. What the... Look. Twitching reflex. Crazy. Just crazy. Now, let me get this big enclosure off the table. I'm gonna bring Elvira, the Pezzoteria Ornata. Careful, careful. Her enclosure is by far easier to carry. Now check it out. She's right there. And hopefully I will be able to lure her on this side, maybe outside, like here. That would be really cool. Also, I forgot to mention another important detail. She's freshly molted and right there, this is her mold, you see, and this is the Hysterocrates Gigas. You see how big she is, and this is Les Linda's mold. So, when you compare them, hmm, slightly bigger, I would say, right? Hard to tell. But Linda is bulkier by far, so let's see if we can lure this girl. She's not really reacting. Will she just bolt like... Oh, nope. I didn't expect this reaction, she just moved away. And she's still moving. <laughs> Why are you webbing? <laughs> what is she doing? Look at her. Why is she webbing? <laughs> I've never seen this. Actually, I can remove this top lid. That could be potentially helpful, right? But hopefully she won't freak out about it. We can have a bit closer look, but now I think that I need to let her be for like 5 to 10 minutes to make sure that she relaxes a bit. But still, I'm going to put the camera to record her. More twitches from the dead grasshopper. <laughs> so creepy. Oh, and of course she is going down. You see. Actually, let me just try this. Oh, she is reacting, and we are ready to roll. Let's do this. Whoa! She actually didn't grab it. She just bit it. Or? Come on, Elvira! Don't let me down. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's trying to escape. Can't really blame him though. Oh, she's mad. But unfortunately, it seems that it won't work, which means I need another another poke, and I think that I got the solution for that. Also, I don't see any bite marks on the grasshopper, so it seems like she only slapped him. She didn't bite him. So that is Good, I guess, for the situation. Oh, look at this. She webbed around her. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Really interesting. I was sure that she will take it down because she's freshly molted, but mm -mm, can't really do that. That is why I'm going to try it out with Pezzoteria regalis. She's also kind of outside, so I'm not really sure if the footage will be that good, but we will see. You see her? She's down there. So first we need to see if we can get her to come out. <laughs> That is the reaction that I need. Yeah, she's curious. Come a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go go and explore the situation. Just a little bit more. Yes. More, more, more. Oh, perfect. Let me position the camera. Grab the grasshopper. And let's go. take down we gotta take down whoa this is such a colorful takedown right too bad that she pulled it all the way back but I think that it was all right right let's check the slow motion The reaction wasn't really that impressive, the takedown wasn't impressive, but the colors and the, the whole shot look really, really sweet. 
but overall I'm satisfied, yeah I am. Okay, I think that we had enough from this girl. I think that I had some really, really sweet shots of her dancing and moving around and kind of struggling with the grasshopper because grasshopper is so big. She was trying to carry it around, but it was getting in the way of all the leaves and everything. It was pretty cool to see, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now we have the ultimate killing machine. The one that basically never disappoints. Even though she's hiding now, you see, she just went inside of her den. If we remove it, I'm pretty sure that won't matter. She will grab the grasshopper regardless. And we will see it all nice and good. I think that I will just put the grasshopper inside and it will do, I mean the tarantula will do the rest. Oh, 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 told you, a feeding machine without the compromise. Acanthoscuria geniculata doesn't mess around. Uh, uh, uh. Let's check the slow motion. Okay, it was all right, but I was hoping that Tarantula will jump on the grasshopper. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. She just approached it and then grabbed it, pulled it to itself. So that is kind of unfortunate, but still, I think that we had a great feeling clip. Now we will wait for the happy dance. It seems that we have a happy dance in progress, but she's also having a bit of problem moving the grasshopper around, you see? And she's already so thick, look at this. I'm pretty sure she won't be able to eat the entire grasshopper. Pretty sure, yeah. A little bit of fang action right there. I don't know what she's doing. She's moving it around, you see? Hmm. Seems like she was changing the grip. Yeah, it looked like that. And there she goes, somewhere. She's looking for her hide, maybe? So she can eat in the darkness. <laughs> I'm not sure, but maybe I should give it back to her. Okay, sorry, sorry, girl. No need to kick the hairs, you know. Should we try to get the hair kicking in slow motion? Yes, we should. Oh, I think that was awesome. We even had a double leg kicking action. Okay, now, last feeding clip of today's video. As I said, I will try the Pamphobetio species Mahala, although there is a high chance that that won't work out. In that case, I'm not sure who will we use next. As always, first we lure the tarantula. <laughs> and then comes the grasshopper. This is brutal. The weight pulled it inside of the den. Look at this. So awesome. <laughs> Let me see the slow motion.
Okay, okay, pretty good I would say, but still I was hoping for more impressive leap. And also even though it is really cool when Tarantula pulls the prey inside of the hide, inside of the dark den, uh, it is kind of shame because then we cannot see everything else. And I'm pretty sure that this guy won't come outside, he never comes once he grabs his prey. Although maybe today is different, so I am going to wait a bit before I finish this video. Okay, I think that this is everything that we will get today. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if this video was successful despite having only 4 feeding clips. I would say it was, but maybe I'm a little bit biased. Regardless, if you enjoyed it, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support the channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, so see you again in a week. Bye! -bye.